Good day everyone, again we are glad to be here. My name is Dolores Toka. Most of most of them we have a YouTube channel where we contribute to you several methods in solving problems in mathematics with respect to the topic. Today we will be solving problems on a terminal conversion. Until then we have derived a new equation that will be used as a formula for improving your mathematics strength. So here, as you can see, the graphic formula for converting from degree Fahrenheit to degree Kelvin. So in this video, we will be presenting to you a new approach that will help to ease your math strength converting from degree Fahrenheit to degree Kelvin. You can use that and also converting from degree Kelvin to degree Fahrenheit. It's an easy approach, most especially in the era of converting from Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Many people will convert from Fahrenheit first to degree Celsius and then convert from Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. We will not be using that approach, we will be giving you a direct and easy short approach that will help to ease your mind strength. So let's get started. So like I said, the first thing I will take into consideration is that both degree Kelvin and degree Fahrenheit have something in common that is degree Celsius. That means you can convert from degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin by spotlighting on degree Celsius. Now, to convert from degree Celsius to Kelvin, we know the formula to be degree Kelvin is equal to degree Celsius plus 273.1. Five. We're going to use point one five for some physics board. We only consider two seventy three, but we're going to use this 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 particular equation. And on the other hand, from degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, we also have degree Celsius equal five one nine parenthesis open degree Fahrenheit minus. 32 sorry minus 32 it closes so to derive the equation i'm going to offer it today in this video why you want to take into consideration is this is the cycle because we use we use this formula to substitute in here so that we can be able to have the values of f in this equation so that we can be able to derive our equation so the next step is everywhere we see C, we just going to get the equation for C substitute. So degree Kelvin will be equal to degree Celsius is equal to five four nine parenthesis open degree Fahrenheit minus thirty two the closes. So the whole equation represents degree Celsius plus so the next thing you're going to do now is multiply the numerator here by the dose that by the values in the parentheses by the recess of number 32 and express it by that. So by that we say the V can be to be equal to 5 times degree M will give us 5 degree F. 5 times minus 32 will give us minus 168. We express it by 9 nanometer. Then we add 273.15. Now we can balance either side of the equation by the denominator 1 because by reasoning in mathematics, all whole numbers have the denominator to be 1. So we balance this by 1. We also balance the Kelvin by 1. We will pull the entire equation into a parenthesis and find the least common denominator that we have seen. And the least common denominator for 1, 9, and 1 is just positive 9. So from this point of our equation, we 
we can come down here to say one going to nine how many times give us nine times nine times the pk thing will give us nine the pk thing and we also say is equal to nine going to nine how many times one time one time five the very half minus one six to the best because five Plus 24, 58, sorry, point TB5. So we are done with this. We draw the arrow skillfully. So in this problem, the arrow indicates that the problem continue. What we're going to do, we got minus 160 plus. 2458.35 so we're going to subtract 160 from 2458.35 so we indicated now we're going to have 9 degree Kelvin must be equal to 5 degree very high and when you subtract this value from this, uh, let's do it here quick. Okay. Two, four, five, eight point three five minus we subtract one sixty for it. Minus one sixty point. We just uh, equalize the decimal. Sorry. So this will give you five three. Decimal point will be constant. 8 minus 0 will give you 8. 5 minus 6. We can go so we borrow 1 from this 4. Add up to this 5 will give us 15. 15 minus uh, 6 will give us 9. We level with 3. 3 minus 1 will give us 2 and 2. So that should be our answer. And it will be a positive form. So we say plus. Two, two, nine, eight point two five. Finally, we now divide both sides. We find the Kelvin. We divide both sides by the coefficient of the Kelvin. If I decide by the coefficient of the Kelvin, this will cancel out this. So the Kelvin will give you five the F plus two, two. Now eight point three five all expressed by nine. So uh, this is the formula that we have derived. If you you may also want to know converting from degree Kelvin to degree Fahrenheit is very easy. That will just give you degree Fahrenheit is equal to you say degree 9 because we want to multiply both sides so it will be 9 degree k minus 2 2 okay 2 2 9 8 all divided by 5 so okay if this is for very high this is for very high and this is for for Kevin also. So we say thank you for watching. This is new equation you can use to find uh, to convert from degree very high to degree Kevin. Very simple. You don't have to convert from very high first to Celsius before converting to Kevin. If you have any value now for okay, let me just. If you have any value for degree very high, for example, if we give you convert from 40 degree very high to degree Kelvin, at the position of degree very high, you just place it into parentheses 40 multiply 5 by 40, and so you get added to 2298.35 2, divided by 9, you get your answer. So, very easy. Uh, 
I hope you will enjoy it and I hope you will put it in practice so that uh, you have more strength, more new ideas of in my mind. We believe that my mind is innovation and as such, we, it is our responsibility to derive, to develop more simple methods in solving many problems in my mind. In several topics today we have, we are on temperature conversion. So, we kind of let our videos subscribe to our YouTube channel at Dolestoka uh, YouTube channel. Just subscribe so that every week you will have an alarm, you have new videos that will strengthen your mind strength, that will give you more new methods in solving several problems in the world. But my is innovation, and today we are glad of this to give to you. Many thanks to our subscribers, our viewers. And those who have commented on my channel, uh, it is a great pleasure to say thank you all so much. Thank you, and also it's a special thanks and appreciation to my director, the president of Mr. Yango. Mr. Yango is very extremely well. So we say thank you ever so much. Have a God blessed day. Thank you.